piece has been in development for quite a while, actually, in kind of slow patches now and again. It started as a um, as something that I worked on as, as a sound hub composer with the LSO scheme, sound hub scheme. So it's it was originally kind of just a three minute just experiment for that. And um, the I mean the piece itself is inspired by a fundamental physics experiment called bubble chambers. Originally the piece was called bubble chamber music, <laughs> but we lost that. Um, but it was invented by uh, a scientist named Donald Glazer. And, um, and it was a way of seeing the movement of subatomic particles that you couldn't otherwise see. And they caused the particles to move through superheated liquid, which is in a very kind of um, held in a kind of stasis. And then when, it, when the particles go through the, the liquid, they leave trails of bubbles, hence bubble chamber. And, uh, and so actually seeing these trails, you get to see how the particles move, spin, all sorts of aspects of their movement. I think the thing that actually first got me though about it is how beautiful the images are. I mean, they look like terrific works of art, even though they're just natural physics experiments. Well, the images themselves were the starting point for the music and obviously for the visuals, and it's trying to sort of recreate them or trying to imagine, trying to, because the images are sort of taken through a window into the machine. So it's quite nice to try and imagine what it would be like to be inside the machine and sort of, um, sort of in the center of the chamber itself, to be surrounded rather than just viewing it as a plane, to be surrounded by the sort of these mm. particles whizzing around. We've tried to do that for the audience themselves as well, actually. So they've given us permission to take out seats in the rafters and put players up, you know, um, up in the raised in the raked seating as well. And uh, the conductor, um, Francois Xavier Roth, is actually in, you know, kind of within the within the audience himself, kind of at the very centre of the bubble chamber, effectively, kind of, you know, as if kind of producing all this energy around us. And the players are are in. You know, maybe not a perfect, but nearly perfect <laughs> circle all around the audience, and um, so so the it should be for them a very kind of three-dimensional experience. 